Right, good morning Mark 2. Let's see if my internet will hold out this time. I had a dip in my internet which meant that um, it stopped screening. So um, we've scrapped version 1 <coughs> and let's go on to version 2 and hope that my internet stays stable. I don't know why my internet has suddenly started deciding that it's not going to play ball after it has done all these years but um, I am having problems with it at the moment but good morning my name is Helen Jennings and um, I'm welcoming you in on a cold and frosty morning here in the UK there's a good touch of frost everywhere the grass outside is all all white and frosty and I know that uh, there had to be a bit of car scraping going on first thing this morning. <coughs> um, so if you do have to go out there, leave yourself a couple of minutes to scrape the car if you're here in the UK. Um, elsewhere in the world, I'm sure you won't have that problem. Um, or you may not have that problem, but we certainly do here this morning. But it's looking beautiful. So standing here, looking out on the frosty world, it looks very beautiful. Um, but good morning, my name is Helen Jennings. I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator based here in the UK. Um, and, you know, they say about that Monday morning feeling, don't they? Um, so, I'm a bit late coming on because I knocked a complete cup of boiling hot Wibina all over myself and all over the floor. So I had to stop and mop that up. Um, and then my internet connection bowed out. So let's hope that um, it keeps going for the rest of our session. Okay, um, I'm just going to, as we are having a Monday morning feeling, I'm just going to click over to my Facebook on my laptop and ensure that we are indeed going live in the right place. Um, so good morning. Um, if you're joining us live, do come on and say hello. If you're catching up at a later date, do also come on and say hello. It's lovely to know who's joining us. And I do also always try and respond at some point. <coughs> I am a bit um, very coffee and sniffly this morning, so do apologise for that. Um, I didn't have a particularly good night, which is probably why I'm a bit clumsy this morning. But let's have a play. Morning, Div. Um, so there's me, Lover Ducky, um, at www.loverducky.co.uk. If you want to head over to my website and check anything out, you may or may not have seen that there is a 24 hour sale tomorrow. We are, of course, creeping up towards Black Friday, and this is our Black Friday, well, it's more like a Pink Tuesday um, sale. So for tomorrow, most of the things in the annual catalogue, so the big chunky catalogue, most of the things in there are going to be available at 10% off. So if you've got your big chunky catalogue, most of the things in here are going to be 10% off. There is an exceptions list. And um, I have a copy of the exceptions list that I've printed out here. But I will also, when I've finished, I will put up a blog post that will give you a link to the exceptions list. So that if you want to go and have a look what's not on there, you can do. Um, but if it's stamps, morning Michelle, morning Jackie. If it's stamps and, and um, dies you're after, I think you're pretty well in luck. I've not seen any stamps or dies listed on there at all there's a couple of punches a trio of tags dies the hello harvest cling stamp set so there is one or two things i'm sure they're things that probably they haven't got enough stock to add them into the sale um, or they're already on back order um but there is a say there is an exceptions list um, of things that are not included in the sale but as you can see that exceptions list compared to what is in the catalogue is actually very small so tomorrow is your day for ordering i will be putting in an order first thing in the morning if you've had a look today and there's anything you would like me to order you then do get in touch and um, you can go on to my online store I will try and ensure that you've got links for all of those um, as long as Facebook lets me edit the video today because it didn't want to let me do that on Friday um, 
but yeah so I'll make sure that you've got links to my online store so that you can go in and shop and have it delivered straight to you or if you're living locally and collect, can collect it and you'd like me to add something to my order then do get in touch but that is 10% of pretty well everything apart from that small list of things and a lot of that is actually things like catalogue packs and things so you can ignore those and they're not going to be they're not going to be on your list of things that you were going to buy anyway they tend to be de they're demonstrator things so that's exciting a big sale from the annual catalogue tomorrow for 24 hours so look out for that and as I say and message me if there is anything you would like me to order for you and I will be happy to do that if you are able to come and collect it okay what shall we play with this morning very good question I thought we'd have to play with something that I've got <clears throat> but I've not yet played with that's always a good place to start I'm going to need to find myself a tissue one moment um so I thought we'd have a bit of a play today with hippo happiness very non-Christmassy we can't get much um can't get much less Christmassy than that can we but a, aha so I've got a box of tissues there in a in a pretty box that I can't even get into there we are there's a box that isn't with a lid on it right so the hippo happiness it's obviously you've got stamp sets and you've got dies to go with it you've got all these cute little you've got hippo you've got unicorn you could always lose his little horn if you wanted to and just make him a horse you've got little sheep beautiful butterfly balloons flowers um, and some really cute little <coughs> greetings Hi hippo array when in doubt be a unicorn you are special so lots of lovely things in there the dies that go with it you obviously get these dies that cut out your little creatures and your flowers and your balloons and some leaves and a unicorn horn and um, but you also get these really gorgeous labels so you've got a set of three there a set of three there and a set of four there so they are fabulous labels so that you know the die set is worth it just for that really and you also get these little um dies that you can put slits in your labels to thread your ribbon through which is really fun so as you can see absolutely pristine never been out of the box um, because i've had it i've all had it quite recently um but have been just concentrating on christmas cards so i thought it'd be quite nice to do something a bit different today so i've not played with these at all so we are going to see what they do let's have a play and then when we've had a play we'll make up some cards with some bits that we've had to play with i'm going to get my um, piercing mat because <coughs> it is a photopolymer and i've got the brights colored out so i've just got the, the pile here of um, brights ink colors so we've got a whole solid um hippo there let's not try and peel that off the top we've got a sort of partial hippo and then we've got a hippo face let's see if we can find a hippo face where's our box it is they look very bizarre on here that one is the hippo face <coughs> so let's have a look and i think i'm going to want a piece of scrap paper to do some stamping up with so let's tuck that under there and let's have a look what should we go for should we have a melon mambo hippo Now, I'm thinking we'll ink it up with Melon Mambo. And of course, this is its first ever stamp, so I'm going to stamp it once, ink it up again, 
stamp it a second time and then do a second generation stamping of the hippo on there and then I'm going to come in with the partial hippo and that's just it's never easy lining these things up when you're trying to work round your camera I may have missed we'll see <laughs> Oh, not bad. How cute. How cute is that? Let's come in. I did miss a little bit. It is a little bit scooify. I think it's fairly forgiving. Let's bring our little hippo face. Oh, very cute. So we have a little hippo, a little pink hippo. I clean that up and I think we'll have another colour hippo. Uh, I think we'll go gorgeous grape obviously fun cards for oh apologies just hit the wire fun cards for the children didn't want to do that we wanted a second generation one, Helen. So let's do that and then do that. And then this time we'll go in with a solid colour. So you don't have to line his tail up. could of course get these lined up on your stamparatus and then they'd be all ready to go oh blobbed his ear how annoying let's try the other way around sometimes that is easier to have the detail one first. I think actually it probably is in this case too. Yes, look at that. So probably easier to line it up if you go the other way round. So now we've got a pink hippo and a purple hippo. Let's find our little dies and cut those out. Very cute. the machine
one little purple hippo. slightly one little pink hippo just going to take my snips and snip around there a little bit that's better aren't they cute so what else have we got that we're going to use on our card? I think we're going to go with a butterfly. These are very pretty. Very cute, chunky little butterflies. I will do with with black. I've got some memento here. Obviously, you could then colour them in if you wanted to. And I'm going to take the wing fill bit and let's go mango melody. I might do a couple of flowers as well before I cut that out. Let's go flirty flamingo with our flowers. Do 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 do. Excuse me. <laughs> have a couple of flirty flamingo flowers. I'm going to go for three, I think. There's lots and lots of little stamps and dies in this set. There's a little leaf as well. Let's have a couple of runny apple green leaves. Dies for all of these things. So let's cut those out. Flowers. Leaves. Very good leaf to lie on. <laughs> I'm 
tried to do it stretched out and that's not helping particularly. probably be easier to cut these from the little leaves from Granny Apple Green card just because uh, then you're not lining anything up. Got the stamp if you wanted to stamp them direct onto the card front and your die if not but I think we've got one there. that I stamped them too close together so they don't want to um, just talk amongst yourselves while I'm playing silly devils with these dies Once more, it's that Monday morning feeling. We have one more leaf to capture, and then we will be there. So busy concentrating on baby little flowers and leaves. Forgot my butter. Let's roll him through as well. Ridley. Little leaf and butterfly. And, oop. Don't drop them. Two flowers. Hello, Fonny. Right, so here we are. We have a little butterfly and we have some little flirty flamingo flowers really cute right I think we should take one of these labels in fact I think we should take two of these labels And we'll do a bit of matting with the label. So I think we'll go white for the one on top. And a bit of this little white card. Will that fit? Yes, it will. And then the one underneath will go, um, let's try Granny Apple Green. Oh, 
get our bag of granny apple green bits out. Oh, not quite big enough. This bit. I'll run those two through. These label dies are just lovely. Really pretty. And then we'll take these dies just here and we'll make our ribbon slits. Side. Make sure those are nicely lined up. Oh, I moved the monkey. I saw you. Luckily, before it was too late. So you could obviously use these little slits with any of your uh, labels. So we've got our two hippos. We've got our little flowers and leaves. We've got our cute little butterfly. So now we just need to make up a card front for them. I'm going to take a little note card, I think. So one of our little note cards that are... Ooh, three by... Three and a half by five inches, these little note cards are. Actually, no. I don't think he wants to be on a, a card that size. I think he wants to be on a square one. I think we're going to go square. Let's find some thick with some white. <coughs> and we will go square. How big is that little die? is okay so I think we'll get I think a nice if I cut this piece of A4 card at 9.9 .9, so I'm going to make a just under four inch card it's going to depend on your cardstock but if you're using metric A4 cardstock if you cut it at 9.9 .9 that way and 19.8 that way scored at 9.9 .9, you will get three 9.9 .9 square cards out of a piece of A4 cardstock and they will fit nicely into a four inch envelope because it is just under four inches. I think we will go with something that's a bit of a mat on the top there. I'm going to take another piece of Whisper White. And I'm going to 
at a piece of Whisper White that is nine and a half centimetres. So that is just going to be a smidge below that. I think we'll give that a bit of an emboss with something. What shall we have? Um, to be something a fairly small I think I might go dainty dainty diamonds so I'm going to take my nine and a half centimeter piece of whisper white and emboss that with the dainty diamonds embossing folder to just make my mat right I need a, my number one base plate and my number four embossing plate because it is a 3D embossing folder. So that's white on white but it's white with a bit of texture. Then I'm going to take, I'm thinking, some spotty tulle ribbon. I'm going to thread it through there out through there and we will wrap that round the middle in a minute so I'm going to chop that off so that I've got enough to wrap around the middle so let's start Sticking some of this together. Just sat that die in the ink pad, which is not a good move. So let's clean that off before I lay that on top of something by mistake. And what we need to happen is I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of here. And raise that up. It sounds like Q for a song. But I'm not going to sing to you. <coughs> I'm so wheezy and puffy this morning. It's as much as I'm doing to talk to you. You really don't want me singing to you. So we've raised that one up and we're going to sit that centrally on our embossed panel and then we will wrap these around there. Let's just anchor them down on each side with a bit of tape. Or sticking that to our card front. That way. stick our little white mat to the top over the top of that ribbon and you could go with some more dimensionals it depends if you are planning on putting it in the post if you were planning on putting it in the post you probably don't want another set of dimensionals on there if it's a little card that's going to be hand delivered or put in a package with something else then might get away with it. Let's have our little hippos on the front. Now I might be extravagant and put another dimensional behind that little hippo just to 
lift him up a bit. But again, you wouldn't have to. You could stick them down flat if you were looking for cheaper postage. Let's put a few little little smattering of flowers by their feet. Dimensions are all scattered to the four winds. Let's have a little dimensional underneath this last flower. And we'll pop these little leaves in. It's these little details, isn't it, that suddenly make it come to life. We have our little butterfly. There is a really cute little um, twirly-whirly stamp with the butterfly, or with the that sort of looks like it's doing a loop the loop. I don't think we can quite fit that one on this one. What I'll do is I'm going to sit our little butterfly. So she is sitting between the two. And then we've got this little hip hippo hooray. Spider joined us. I'll try not to attach him to the card. Probably best not to. Hip hippo hooray. It's a really nice sort of Almost childlike font, isn't it? Sort of. Right, fun. Let's Hi, Angie. Hope you're feeling better and that you're home now. I'd only been thinking the other day how nice it was that you're feeling so much better and at the beginning of lockdown you were sort of not mobile and gradually over the weeks you got more and more mobile and I was only thinking oh that's you know that's really fab over that time and then you put up that you were back in hospital so I hope all is well now. Right I think Somewhere we'll find our little, little tiny banner end punch. I'm just going to line that up centrally and snip both ends of that. <clears throat> oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. That was a very naughty spider. I'm going to put a little dimensional either end of that. And we'll just 
curl of that over the corner. Hip, hip, ho, oh, hooray. I'm glad you're mending. It's what we want to hear, that you're on the mend. Hip, hip, ho, oh, hooray, Angie, that you're on the mend. Right, so that's a little hippo card. Very cute, aren't they? What else shall we do? I do really quite like the unicorn is very cute, but I do also like the sheep. It's the quirky sayings. Let's let's have when in doubt be a unicorn. I feel that um perhaps that's appropriate today. Now we have a little little horn just here for our unicorn. And our base colour. So I think, hmm, what colours shall we go with our uniform? I think I'm going to go. We'll have some coastal cabana, I think. I'm also going to things flying up everywhere. Let me move this box out of the way because I want to get to my stamping right markers. <coughs> because I do feel that a unicorn should really have a rainbowy tail. So we're going to go Coastal Cabana for his main body. But I think we will bring in What have we got there? A bit of melon mambo. Um, this gorgeous grape. Mango Melody, yeah. <clears throat> right, let's have a look. So I'm going to ink him up. Let's just do that as a test. Yes, that's fine. I'm going to ink him up. I'm actually going to take my Simply Chamois and just wipe some of the ink off his tail and down his mane. And then we'll come in with our stamping white markers. Let's give him a bit of a rainbow tail and a bit of a rainbow mane going on. <coughs> Now this again is perhaps something that might have been better done on the Stamparatus because then you can stamp again very easily if it's uh, not quite lined up right the first time. Just wrapping around in my <coughs> box of Rainbow Main. So there was obviously a bit of green left there. Let's come over the top 
and this time we are going the other way round. We found it easier last time to line up the detailed one first. So that one is not quite such a difference between the <clears throat> background. I don't think I stamped off my coastal cabana first. Let's find our unicorn face. That one is this one here, I do believe. So here's our little nose. As I say, he could be a horse or he could be a unicorn. But we will make him a little unicorn. I think I'm going to... Actually, I don't think I'm going to stamp that. Oh, no. Oh, well, let's hope that we're giving you a few ideas of things you can do when you can get back to crafting. I'm going to find a little bit of um, company. I just want a little smidge of balmy blue. Glitter card. That's what I'm looking for. I'm just going to cut a horn for our unicorn. Army blue glitter card. So I've not stamped this one. This is just going to be a die cut horn. I'm going to, of course, stamp it, glue it in, add a bit of wink of Stella. Oh, oh no. Don't do what I've just done. Cut it and then drop it. I think I'm not going to spend ten minutes trying to find that little dropped corn. I'll cut another one. And if it comes to life, it comes to light, I'll, uh, I'll use it on another project. But for now, let's carefully carry a sparkly unicorn horn. Yes. Beautiful, right? Don't wander off little unicorn horn because we need to cut a little unicorn. Here's our little unicorn with his unicorn horn. I think we will going to take these two dies this time. I'm going to do this one out of blue glitter card. white one for the front.
there our little unicorn has lots of sparkle so I think we'll cut another nine and a half centimeter by nine and a half centimeter card front We've got a little sparkly, see you soon Jackie, little sparkly unicorn to go in the middle of our card. ourselves a little army blue mat that's nine and a half centimeters greeting that says could have had hippo birthday as well when in doubt be a unicorn and we'll put that onto a piece of crystal white Ooh. don't lose your horn boy blue can blow on your horn when in doubt be a unicorn to stick this unicorn on here so that I don't lose his horn let's just pop a little blob of glue just there Add in his little horn. Line him up. So I've used some Tombow on there because that will might take a a minute or two to take 
that should hold because glitter card is notoriously difficult to stick things to. Then I'm going to take that little flower stamp, hopefully, just here. And the little book. Army blue ink. Let's just make a nice background piece with that. got any bits that look as if they're there we go nice flowery background piece we'll stick on there some of this metallic trim let's just put some glue on the back of there and then that will be able to Wrap that underneath. Take my ribbon scissors, and trim that off either end. It just gives it a bit extra sparkle. Let's take our Greeting, and we'll raise that up on some dimensionals. I'm going to take some of the blue backed gems. In. A bit more sparkle. When in doubt, be a unicorn. So they are very fun, aren't they? So they are great for little girls or even big girls that need to be reminded to sparkle. So two fun little cards created with the Hippo Happiness stamp set. So something very different from, um, from Christmas, uh, but good fun. And yes, really good for the children's projects. They can make quite a fun um, frame, wouldn't they? If you were doing a like an 8 by 8 frame or something. So yeah, that would be quite fun to make up one of those for a, for a little girl's room. Or you could make it coloured for a little boy's room. New baby cards. All sorts of things that you could use those for. So a really fun little set. So thank you for joining us. Um, coming along to play this morning. Stay well everybody. Um, and I will be back to see you later in the week.